This is the second part of direct proportions. We have done a, I have done a video for you. Uh, uh, this is the second uh, video of uh, direct proportions. Actually, I know uh, I haven't taught you that what is a proportion. I can remember it. At this time, I will teach you that what is a just to say that to teach you that uh, what is a proportion. What is a direct proportion? Uh, you know that uh, in the previous video, I have taught you that five mangoes can be bought for twenty rupees. Uh, six mangoes can be bought for twenty four rupees. This is the price. Uh, seven mangoes can be bought for one mango. Uh, five mangoes twenty rupees. Five mangoes can be bought for twenty rupees. One mango can be bought for uh, four rupees. So six mangoes can be bought for four times six twenty four. Seven mangoes can be bought for twenty eight rupees. So a direct proportion means uh, you could see. When the number of mangoes, these are the number of mangoes. When the number of mangoes are increased, you could see the price of these mangoes. Price also increased. So twenty becomes twenty-four, twenty-four becomes twenty-eight, and so on. So when the number of mangoes are increased. Price also increase. So when one thing increases, the other thing also increase. The other thing also increases. When one thing increases, the other thing also increases. On the other hand, when one thing uh, is uh, decreased, seven mangoes becomes six mangoes. Six mangoes becomes five mangoes. Twenty-eight becomes uh, twenty-four. So seven, six, five. Twenty-eight, twenty-four, twenty. On the other hand, so when the number of mangoes are increased, price also increased. When the uh, number of mangoes are decreased, seven, six, five. Price also decreased. Seven, six, five. Twenty-eight, twenty-four, twenty. And so on. So, when one thing increases, the other thing, which is related to the said thing, also increased. Or when one thing decreases, the other thing also decreases. Those types of relations are understood as. Direct proportions. Okay. Now, in direct proportions, in direct proportions, uh, it can be taken. You could see this relation. So, six over five, six over five equals to twenty-four over twenty. How did I take it? Six over five, six over five. Equals twenty four over twenty. When you simplify this fraction, you could take six over five. Uh, twenty four is divided by four, so twenty four becomes uh, twenty four over uh, four six. Twenty over four five. So six over five equals six over five. Because of that, in the previous video, I have got. The taken relations. Anyway, now we know that what are direct proportions. What is the digit that should be written? Here is a here is a direct proportion. Five to four equals to ten to blank. Ten to blank. This means five to four means five over four. Five over four, ten over blank. Okay. How? Uh, what is the relation between two digits? So to be taken, ten five is multiplied by two. Think of it. So five times two, ten. So the uh, the digit uh, uh, should be uh, which is written here, which should be written here. So 
5 times to 10 so 4 also multiplied by 2 4 times to 8 okay now when you learn these sums you could take you could simplify the sums given in the textbook book in the textbook as well okay so uh, next one you think you know that uh, uh, the mark price the mark price the mark price of an article is uh, article means a certain thing a certain thing a radio or a tv or any other thing mark price of an article is a uh, is a uh, you think uh, mark price is uh, 2500 rupees 2500 rupees 2500 rupees uh, selling price uh, when it sells when this article is sold it is given the discount of 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent you have learned uh, the uh, that percentages you have learned now I'm going to show you I'm going to teach you the uh, the, 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 the the that you could take uh, you could simplify this sum using the knowledge of direct proportions direct proportions mark price of an of a certain article of a certain article is 2500 rupees 2500 rupees when this article sells it's given the discount of 10 percent find the selling price mark price question is question the given question is you should find the selling price when the article is sold it's given the discount of 10 percent uh, this uh, i will i will write that mark price and selling price mark price selling price the mark price is uh, 2500 rupees uh, when the when what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this when the article is sold, it is given the discount of 10%. From this segment, you have to uh, take, uh, this is the hint actually, that should be taken. This means, when you sell an article, uh, you think uh, the mark price of the article is 100 rupees, the meaning of this. The mark price of the article is 100 rupees when this article is sold from 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 every hundred rupees you think the 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 mark price of the article is hundred rupees that means uh, the what is the what is the what is the price of uh, that uh, what is the what is the selling price if the article is hundred rupees this means selling price is 90 rupees selling price is 90 rupees from every hundred rupees it is reduced 10 rupees when the when the when the mark price is 100 rupees then the selling price is 90 rupees how did you, how did you take it 100 minus 10 so the, so the answer is uh, selling price is 90 rupees when the mark price is 100 rupees the selling price is 90 rupees when the mark price is 2500 rupees 2500 rupees you how to find the selling price we can take the selling price as x o y o you can take an unknown term how can you simplify this i know you have the knowledge of getting the value of x in the previous video i taught you it i have taught you it anyway let's take the value of x using the knowledge of direct proportions so how do you construct the uh, equation how do you construct the equation we should find the value of x x over x over x over 90 x over 90 equals to 
x over 90 equals to 2500 over 100. How do you simplify this? How do you simplify this? This zero and this zero can be simplified. This one, this zero and this zero as well. So x over x over ninety equals to twenty five over one. X equals to cross multiply twenty five over one into ninety. You can multiply 25 times 90, 25 times 8, you know that, uh, 200. So, 24 times 25 times 9, 225. 2,225. 2,225 is the selling price of this article. The mark price of the article was 2,500 rupees. When the article is sold, it was given the discount of 10%. So, you learn any sum, any sum related to uh, percentages can be sold using the knowledge of uh, this lesson. Okay.